and welcome back to Music Free Gaming here on YouTube. All the gaming of those other streams, but none of the music. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is a beautiful and glorious, glorious Thursday, full of thurs and also days. And for those of you who are having an excess of thurs, um, welcome. <laughs> hey, Bean, how's it going? <laughs> Great to have you here. All right. Um, I was trying to think if I had anything special channel related to announce. I don't really. So let's just get into the game. Um, I will say, um, I will say that I am going to be doing a little bit more recording for the video. Hey, Sprite. Welcome. Welcome. Glad to have you back as well. Um, so I'll be doing a little bit of recording cause I didn't finish the uh, episode from uh, yesterday. So We'll do that, but I've got lots of uh, decorative nonsense to get into. So let's go ahead and get into it, assuming I'm in the right place. Okie dokie. Also, for those of you who uh, missed the end of the stream yesterday, I now have a very, very large sign behind me. Um, <laughs> this guy, he shows train schedules and there's enough room for, what's it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like 10, 11 trains, something like that. I have three. Actually, I have two. I have two and I plan on building a third, but you know how it goes. <laughs> Yesterday. Oh yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday. That's it. Tuesday. Ah, days are hard. Who knows what? days of the week are anymore, even though I just announced that it was Tuesday. Do I have a, I'm sure I had a bed in there and I just totally forgot about it. Oh yeah, so this is fun. <laughs> this iron golem just sort of meandered onto the, the, the belt here and ended up stuck in my storage, so. He lives there now. <laughs> gotta, you gotta love it when the uh, iron golems just sort of end up in weird places. Like, I guess he can fit through here, but like, really, did? All righty, all right, that's good. We'll go with it. In the meantime, yep, there's the bed right there that I didn't sleep in. Okay. So I've got a couple of things I need to worry about here. First off, I am going to need to get some more jungle wood, which is over here. There we go. Jungle planks. Awesome. Now, I, I need to figure out what I'm going to be doing on the outside of this. Oh, before I do that, before I figure out the whole outside problem. Um, oops, uh, this one. Do I have, I do have tiles. Yay, tiles. All right, I've got to, uh, yeah, good enough. Um, I need to finish getting all of the mechanical arms in place. Now, they won't work until I have, um, uh, until I have more of the the funnels and stuff in place, but that's okay. I mean, they, they won't have any place to put stuff. And honestly, that I'm probably jumping the gun here by putting these in place, but... Right, now. Yeah, okay, so let's see. I have this in the wrong place. So the arm gets to sit on top of all right i have now confused myself right because the the thing and it's right on the thing and the thing is in the thing thing all right cool we have um plans for a thing or something ah <sighs> yep that's just how it goes all of the things all right so Basically, that's going to go there, which means this gets to come up here. All right, I think, do I have any dirt? Apparently not. All right, cool. 
I'll use stone. Stone is good. Actually, what I should do is use some oak because the floor. The floor is oak. And did I? Ah, I did remember to bring arms. Cool. Now, I need to program these. I really should just go get the filters. I should. I should. I don't have all the funnels I need, actually, now that I think about it. I have, like, ten. And that's going to finish, like, two and a half of these stacks. <sighs> that's okay. Just... All right, we'll make it work. That'll be fine. So, let's just get these in place. Uh, I have to look. I'm, I don't even know if I have enough copper, now that I think about it. All right, so that's going to feed the, that one plus these two. This guy, I could put in the middle, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. That will go there. And that goes there. And this goes not there. All right, now I do need to get cogs on those guys, but, you know, that can wait a couple of minutes anyway. All right, so let's see. I need to put... So he's got that. So this arm will go there. Get to there. And then this arm will go there. Cool. And should reach all the way over that way. Great! <sighs> okay, so now comes the fun part of... Do I actually have... Um, a place to get down here and... Get my rotational power. Yes, awesome. I mean, I, I knew... <laughs> Let's not be silly. I kind of knew that there was... Had to be power down here somewhere, but... All right, cool. That's where he's stuck. Great. Um, where is this? So that is 109 and minus 9. Cool. 109 minus 9. That puts you right there. Aha! Can I reach my... I, I can't reach my toolbox from here. Well, darn. All right, well, that's fine. I need a couple of gearboxes. It's all right. They're not, it's not like they're that far away. I just need to get them. Um, we'll grab a couple of them. Now, these all need to be vertical. Which is, you know, an easy, easy switch. All right, so this is going to go right there. No. Right there. Cool. And then this guy comes right along this way. Now, all right, so that's going to go there. Which means this gearbox will go here. Cool. Well, let's see if I can actually get out of this hole before I place the gearbox and lock myself in. All right. A torch. I do have a torch. Torches are awesome. Okay. Cool. So that'll come up and... We'll spin these guys, and we'll spin this one. Right, I guess I could put the cog wheels on there, but they're not programmed, so they're not going to do anything. But I need to do two things. Um, just long term, I need to get some floor in, obviously. Uh, but I also need to... Be sure I can get back here so I can set or reset filters as the case may be. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and just close all of this in. All right. Oh, I just want to, I can't see some things. That, wow. All right. Um. Yeah. Just doing some exploring to watch every one of my episodes. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, there's only 18 of them, I think. <laughs> ah, they're, they're out there, you know. All right, so. All right, so I've got the arms in place. Now, I do need a way to get out to set filters. And I do want to be able to get out here. So let's take, I think I could take these out. Okay. And make this the, the filter access and probably the, uh, the access back into the, this uh, factory here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true. I have done a lot. There is... It feels sometimes like progress is slow. And I suppose it is if you're looking at it from like a hermit craft perspective or something. But... You know, it's not too bad. But yeah, it's... Uh, someone just walking into this world is like, what the heck is going on here? Well... This is the heck of the what? All right, so let's go ahead and take this out so that I can put it, oops, right back in. All right, where did I put the logs? Oh, right there. I had a few of them already. Cool. Oh, and hey, darkness is coming. All right, and I'm now I, I live here now. <clears throat> I don't want to live there. That it, That is a dark and scary place of which I don't want to live. Yeah, so if I put in door back that way. Okay, I think this will this will make some amount of sense. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Okay, so, let's see now. Hmm. Okay, oh, wait. It's like something was weird. All right, so, trying to get this back wall in place, and obviously I need to be able to walk here. I'm gonna have access to the factory. So I'll probably need a door in around here somewhere, roughly speaking. I'll, I'm going to leave it. And then, uh, then we'll see what happens as we go along. Um, I definitely need to expand that floor up and above. And then kind of see, kind of see how I want this all to work. All right, also, uh, Wesla, thanks for that sub. I appreciate it. Um, I have not updated, yes, I should mention that. Um, I probably won't mention it in the video, but um, I was looking at stuff the other day and realized that, uh, yep, that'll go nicely. Um, there is a uh, 119 update available for, for fabric, so. Um, I will look at doing that probably this weekend. I'll get this video f finished and all that good stuff. But yeah, so I'll get that done first and then take a look because then if, because that would put me on 119.2 and then I, then I get frog lights, which will fix these stupid, ugly ugh, glowstone. Glowstone has its purpose. It's a fairly cheap and easy light if you've got uh, clerics like I do, but oh, it just doesn't look good. 
All right. Let's just grab a few more of these. And looks like I'm done with the gears. So we'll go ahead and put those away. All right. So let's finish getting this wall in. Also, I should make sure. I think I've got enough light back here. Yeah. This is all... Yeah, that's all lit. And we're all pretty well lit outside, too. So, at least for the moment. We'll see what happens when I cover up all that glowstone. I don't still have a door on me, do I? No, nope, I don't. Okay. That's fine. So, that'll go there. I also have some plans for this area, but that's a problem for future me. So, we'll worry about that in a bit. Um, Let's see now. Oh, yes. Prism is amazing, right? <laughs> oh, Prism is lovely. I'm very happy with Prism. Yes, for those, for those of you who don't know, I do use the uh, Prism launcher to launch Minecraft. Um, turn off light levels. Because it makes it really nice to separate instances of, for like, my solo world and, um, and then, you know, my modded world, you create mod here, and other servers and things that I've got stuff going on with, so. Just my, I had a quick and easy way up. Where did I put it? <clears throat> Apparently I moved it. And I have iron golems everywhere. I, I, this is, no, 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 this just isn't, all right, I need to update my soundboard, there was a quote I was looking for and I don't have it, <laughs> I, I know it's available, I just don't have it on the soundboard, all right, so this is all going to come this way. So, let's go ahead and bring some floor out this way. So, the trains run automatically, which is awesome. So, if you... To, uh... Yeah, let me just hop down here and I'll show you how this works. This was actually the, uh... That's the Keep on Trucking episode, I think 17. So... These guys... A lot of these chests have um, these stockpile switches that basically will tur turn on a redstone, redstone signal until they're up at 45%, and then they're off until they hit 10%, and then they'll move back up and turn back on. And that hits this radio link, which I have programmed at Vault Sandstone, Vault Cobble, all that good stuff. And then, when that happens, when that gets low, it triggers these radios that are on the matching signal. I love wireless redstone, by the way. And that will unlock the funnel, spit up the corresponding train schedule, which will get fed out onto one of the train stations here. And then off goes the train. And it heads out to the factory to pick up my gear. So, yeah. Very awesome stuff. <clears throat> Took me a while to figure out how I was going to do that. But I think the solution I've got ended up being a, a pretty nice one, actually. Is it the best possible solution? Eh, maybe, maybe not. But it definitely works well for what I'm doing. Actually, it's it's nice because it's super flexible. So all I have to do is get um, whatever train schedule I want on that belt, and then the train will run off and do what I need to. Yep, so they'll just sit there idle until they need to go somewhere. But what's cool is they're not... They're not locked into... Like, I don't have to go edit a bunch of different... Um, train schedules because each schedule is just hey 
go pick this up from the factory and come back. What if I decide I need one that's not at my cobblestone factory, right? If it's not over here. Maybe I'll have some stuff built up over this way. Then it's really easy just to say, oh, go over there and come back to the drop-off station, right? And that's going to be really nice. So it's going to be super flexible and my trucks will just go get, get me what I need. Um, and then depending on how far they have to go, um, I can vary the uh, number of stacks they get to minimize the number of trips, but Top down here. Bring this back, this guy up. So that's kind of cool. Now, if they the trains will run outside of um, loaded chunks, but once they're outside of loaded chunks, they won't pick up anything. So, I mean that's fun and all, but doesn't help me quite as much as I might hope. All right, now here's where things are going to get fun. So I'm going to get this wall in place. And then I and we'll get this floor in. And then I need to figure out kind of what I want this top floor to look like. Um, yep. So, all right, cool. So let's get this in. Now... Might be good. It would be to throw some trap doors in or something to. Uh, if I'm going to have those lights there, I might as well use them. But for now, well, they'll just sit there and be a thing. <sighs> Professional. That's it. So while I'm kind of here placing blocks, here's sort of the the plan as I see it. Whoa, those are 100% the wrong blocks. Um, so my plan here is to um, build out a floor. I don't know what I'm going to put up here, but I do know I want to have windows that overlook the factory. Okay, I don't need anything here overlooking the um, storage. Uh, my drop chest, it's over to, it's the door next to the, um, next to the exit to the trains. So, in fact, since I have to go in and sleep, it's this one right here, next to the stone, gravel, and cobblestone. So, this, that chest right there. The, I have one other drop chest that's this guy right here uh this one it's got a lever on it because it heads out to uh a flaming trash can oh i mean since i'm here let's grab a little bit more um a little bit more oak okay oh ha this is the cool part I just cleaned out, I'm down to like 10% on these planks. So that light turned on. Why am I getting jungle? Do I still have a jungle programmed on oak? Um, I might. No, that's... Why? Why are you sending me strips? Oh, there it is. Yes, there it is. Okay, cool. Let's get out there and fix that. Let's get out there and fix that. So, unfortunately, this is the problem with copy and paste is sometimes there are copy paste errors. So, let's see now. Is it okay? That one's not. 
I should have just, uh, all right, so that's that one. All right, where was it? I saw it and now I'm confused. Okay, so that's jungle and that's jungle. That's jungle. Oh, right, there it is. Okay. That one should be jungle. Okay. So I probably just threw away a lot of jungle planks, but. And it looks like a lot of, a lot of stripped planks as well. Why are the, why did the stripped ones come out? All right, ow. I'm bad, and that's good. I will never be good, and that's not bad. <sighs> Wrong door. Okay. Um, let's see how much of my gear I get back. <sighs> Well, I got my axe back. Wonderful. Oh. Whoo. Okay. It was close. Almost lost a lot of stuff again. Oh, I might have lost my... And by... Well, okay. So I might have lost a pickaxe. Uh, but... And my food and stuff. On the other hand, it's very possible it's all inside here. But why, why oh why did I get all of that, all of those stripped logs when, because uh, that's an input, so that's not going to matter. I don't know. I've managed to break my logic somewhere. All right, well. Jeez, monkeys. All right, well, let's go grab some food. So I lost my silk touch pick and my shovel. <sighs> Man. That, that's just. That's just lovely. Of course, it's also possible that a lot of that stuff was spitting out and being stupid, but... <sighs> Gur and Harumph. Okay. Ooh, well, there's also the possibility... Oh, that some of it ended up in the trash. That's cool. Because I've got... I have some overflow boxes, but they're full. And they're not intentional overflow boxes. They're just, yeah. Yeah, they just ended up being here. I don't need that many sticks. Right. Uh, okay, there were, looks like a few things. Yeah, there are a few things that might have made it onto the... Um, Quit picking them up. There are a few of the things that might have made it into something, but... Yeah. All right. All right, I just need to dump those. That's that's all there is to it. Ah, oh, in any case... Fudge. Ah, oh, so much stuff. At least I kept what little armor I had, but... All right. And all my XP. All right. Darn it. Since I'm working with glass, I kind of do need a, a pick. Um, it's an efficiency two. That's unbreaking one. That's probably what I should go with. Yeah. 
Hi, I would like to buy your finest pickaxe, please. Thank you. Oh, um, yeah, some books. Okay, this is a thing. Um, okay, I need mending. Thank you. And I need silk touch. Thank you. And I need efficiency five. That would be you. Awesome. I should... I end up using a lot of these books, especially recently, so... Let's just stock up on a few of them, shall we? Mending! Again, you couldn't have been, like, unbreaking. I already have mending. Uh, what is wrong with silly villagers not understanding the needs of the customers? Uh, they're just... R remind me to, um, like, feed him to a zombie or something at some point. All right, where did I... So, mending, efficiency, silk touch. Okay. Cool. Of course, I have no XP. That's awesome. Let's do something about that. Ah, cookies! Those are worse than pies! Find a parrot to feed those two. Okay, don't feed cookies to parrots. It's bad for the parrots. This has been a mandatory animal whatever message from Music Free Gaming. Don't feed chocolate to parrots. It will kill them. And I suppose I should emphasize that or something. All right. So, yeah, all right, let's, uh, grumble, grumble. Wrong tool. There we go. Oh, that's mending in silk touch. Let's try, that's four, that's five. So we'll go that way. And 14. Well, Okay. <sighs> Fortunately, I have more than my share of stuff to trade here, so... Just get all the XP I can, I guess. That's right, he doesn't do stuff. So there are a few of these guys. Uh, pies, again, I have to... I have to pay more attention. I am... Definitely uh, doing bad things here. Like buying pies. All right. All right. There's my silky picky, which I can totally spell. Okay. At least I get some unbreaking on my tools. I don't have. Uh, I don't have all the unbreaking I want, but I get some. Oh, and I need a shovel, but... Darn, shovels, right. Um, well, there's efficiency five, and... Oh yeah, I'm gonna need more silk touch and more stuff, okay. Who has a good shovel here? That's unbreaking two. That would be good. Um, breaking one. And none at all. All right. Hey, congratulations. You, uh, you're going to buy, you're going to sell a shovel today. Your family gets to eat. Aren't you excited? Okay. I mean, he's locked in a one block wide box and probably dreams of actually being able to get out and go to the bathroom or something, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, that's, 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 that's a thing. Okay, so, all right, so I've got efficiency, I need silk touch and mending. 
I have got to feed these guys to zombies, but I don't have the stuff I need to do that with either, so. Yep. Okay, mending and... Nope, that's infinity. Silk touch, thank you. I don't need that many aqua affinity books, but... See, this, this guy... Should have done better, dude. Just, you just should have. Ah, I'm gonna have to give him a stern talking to. Oh, right, and I have no XP. Again. Cool. Okay. What happened to farmers being early birds? Like, seriously, I would like to... I guess I could buy carrots, but... Alright, well, they'll unlock here in a little bit, and I'll be able to silk touch my shovel. No? They they have made me very sad, and I... I... Aha! Okay, thank you. Also. Cool. Not much more, gang. Here, you get... Take all my melons. And... Honestly, I don't need the XP much. I just need... Or need the emeralds, but I need all of the XP. I screwed up when I put those trap doors in. I should have put them on the inside of the block, but that's okay, I guess. All right, so, right. All right, and then the show, oops, gotta do it the other way. There you go. Ah, 14. I'm at 11. fine um also i have way too many emeralds okay all right who are the potato people you are not a potato person you are a potato person i did try to re-roll my villagers so that i had plenty of villagers buying potatoes and carrots And yes, I do have a couple buying wheat as well, but... Alright. Cool. So let's, uh... Alright. Grab my... Silky spoon. Great. Alright, I am back in business. This, this is totally work. Um... You know, it was broken... It broke on me this morning, uh, or when I logged in, I noticed. And I don't know quite what happened. I just noticed it when I logged in here. Um, so here's what I ran into. It basically had become unglued, or the glue stuck here, and the machine went back that way. <laughs> yes, my silky spoon. So to fix it, you just have to glue everything back together. Um, but it's, uh, that was really annoying when I discovered that. All right. This wall is really boring. We're going to hopefully do something about that. But for now, it's just a boring wall. Yeah, I've got a couple of things here that seem to be broken, and I haven't quite figured out what's happening to them. Like, just now, it fed me a bunch of uh, stripped logs, and I have no idea why. Because it should not have done that. So, anyway. um, So, let's grab some of the oak planks.
The really cool thing here about this too, is, you know, these signs update automatically, so. I can kind of see where the, uh, where the system is at. And I don't know what it is about Acacia that has this thing rocking it, the, the world here, but I'm getting so many Acacia logs, it is crazy. All right, I, I lost all my scaffolding too. That's uh, so much stuff. So my streaming schedule, I stream Tuesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. till 8 p.m. Uh, U.S. Mountain Time. So it is currently 6.30 if you need to adjust your sundial. So, yep. That is the plan. It's not a lot, but I also work full time. So I've got, I have other things I need to do. <laughs> yep. Sadly, I cannot make this a career yet. Okay, so let's get all of this out here. All right, that goes this way, this way, and... All right, cool, so now I've got one more... One more area here, but I don't think I'm gonna go out very far. I just need to go out far enough so I can sort of complete this side of the room. You know what I mean? All right. Yep. Yeah. 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 No worries. Actually, I don't, don't know that I have that in the section here below the video. I do. Um, I have a bunch of stuff down there, but that actually might not be one of the things that I have down there is the schedule. But, you know, if you uh, turn on notifications and hit the, you know, obviously subscribe, turn, hit the notification bell, and there's an option for all notifications, YouTube will tell you when I'm going live, which is awesome. All right. Oh, I'm, I've got these. Cool. So how tall is this down here? This is four or five blocks high. All right. Cool. One, two, three. All right four and five. So this is kind of the height that I'm looking at here. Probably going to come something like this. Now, I do want to have so it's sort of a, a big window up here so I can look out and see the factory operating. Which means at some point I should probably, you know, tidy it up and make it look good but I do want to be able to look out and see that, oh yeah, the dark oak machine stopped, or, you know, occasionally I have issues with the, um, the birch that just, or actually, the birch has done it, I think the spruce has done it once too, it's the, uh, the, the swing arm there, the saw gets kind of stuck and then just stops doing anything so got some and it's just create weirdness um, hopefully there's a bugs that that got fixed uh, but I haven't uh, haven't gone troubleshooting for that stuff yet and you know, I said hopefully it'll be when I do the upgrade again I hope this weekend it'll take care of it um, I did AFK a little bit here after the stream yesterday, because I or on Tuesday, because I have a a lava pool I'm filling up, and I wanted it to start to fill up, and I'm about a, th a third of the way full, so that's awesome. Okay. All right, so this is good. I just need to f figure out a better way up and down. Elevators are a thing. I could absolutely put an elevator in there, but 
All right. Um, let's let's grab some deep slate here, some tiles as well. I do have some deep slate. Actually, I've got a bunch sitting over in uh, chests that I need to at least dump some of it over here. Cut in half by a mechanical saw. That's just not right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I was... I've mentioned this before. My power plant, it runs off of lava, which is great. Um, but it also requires random tick to work. So random tick is what... It determines whether these uh, cauldrons get filled by the drippy lava. Well, what I decided to do here is I dug out this giant hole and I'm filling it with lava. Well, I actually dug it all the way down here. And this is, create sees this as being an infinite lava source and that's awesome. So you can pump from it without, without draining it. Problem is it ended up being way down there. I was hoping it would fill all the way up here and I would just have this giant pool of lava, but it didn't. It stops when it gets to be infinite. Oh. So, unfortunately, this is also a, a known bug in, uh, in Create. It, oops. So the known bug in Create that the, uh, these things, what is this, a, a hose pulley? Will occasionally, um, glitch back to being up. And that's not what I want. Because when they're up, they don't pour lava. Alright. Alright, there we go. We'll refill that. Cool, that'll get the lava uh, filling up again. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll, that'll work. So help my, because once I can get that back to an infinite water or infinite lava source, um, then I can do lots of good things. All right, because then my my uh, power plant will fill up without having to worry about random tick. So it should run whether I'm around or not. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to have a big window overlooking the factory. But I think what I want to do is I want to set up a wall somewhere in this area so I can actually wall in the factory. All right? So this is all be inside and safe from all of the creepers and zombies and phantoms and other nonsense. Uh, but I need to figure out where that wall is going to be. And I think this might be a little bit too close. I think I want to move it out maybe to actually where that row of chests is. And if I do that, then what I'll need is probably, well, let's drop down here, right? So the chests are right here. So something kind of along that line right about there. Cool. So that means I sort of have an idea of where I want my window to be. So the trick is going to be coming in on the inside now and figuring out where all of that matches. And since I just died and lost all of my scaffolding, I should probably go make more to make it easy to get up and down things. <sighs> all right, on the plus side, I've got... Okay. The iron is filling up. I've got lots of iron. I do have some bamboo down here too. I just need to be sure I don't use all of it because I need to, because um, oh, I'll need to replant it for a bamboo farm so I can get 
bamboo when I need it. Which will be all sorts of nice. Okay, do I still have string up here? I do. Cool. All right, let's try putting things in the right place and then maybe. All right, great. Send me a Discord DM. Okay. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. Eh, no worries. All right. Cool. So that's going to go in there. It's going to go in there. I have scaffolding again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hang on a sec. My chair is stupid. <clears throat> okay. I can't actually blame the chair. I have a... I put a cushion on the chair, and it's very comfortable, but occasionally it slides, and I end up sitting on the edge of it, and that becomes a lot less comfortable. All right, so. Just for ease, let's, uh, we'll put this up here. Okay. So, if I do this here, um, yeah, just come down this way. Now, this is super flat, and I'm aware of that. But I want to start by figuring out where things are, and it's, and that's going to be just super flat. Though I think the, plan here I mean aside from wanting to replace that block okay so the plan here is to figure out where all this stuff is gonna go and I should probably count this out to see if it's an odd number so that those of you who worry about such things don't freak out Uh, and I still have torches. Good. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look, I can count to ten. One, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Why would I refer to you? With you're the one who always bugs me about things being, you know, odd and stuff. Okay. So this would be the odd number right here. Okay, which is fine. Um, that slides me over one more block. Uh, but that's okay. That is just peachy. All right, so we'll just uh, put that back. And we'll bring this up. Okay. Okay, smoky. So that puts me right about there. All right, just because I do want to line that. So now, the next question is... Four. It's actually, yeah. So five, and then there's there would be a roof on top of this. So the next question is, how do I want? Do I want to break this up? I probably should, though. I do kind of like having the big picture window here. Um. All right. I might have screwed up. Oh, that this would be fun. All right. Let's, so this is, oh, that's convenient. So that's 110. I don't even have to math. I just have to see if this is even. 
and this is 65. Okay. It's not even, so that should make it odd, and that is great. All right, so one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five locks in between. So if I come in something like that, two, three, four, five. I suppose that'll be that'll be good. I'll, I'll have a little bit of some breaks there. Um, okay, two, three, four, five. The trick is going to be getting all this stuff spaced out correctly. Because I could do math, but where's the fun in that? One, two, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. I can count. And that's odd. Okay. <sighs> All right. I mean, that's why I'm kind of measuring things out, though. I probably should have measured before I built up all the walls, but, you know, that's fine. Also, I don't... Actually, I think these are too close together. Just as I'm looking at this, um... Let's do five, six, seven. Let's... Let's make these a couple blocks wider. And how is that for a space? Now, actually, this is going to be up. So I don't know what it's going to be. Let's just throw some logs up there for now. But some form of roof type object is going to be there. Because the ceiling is going to be seven blocks above, not the fifth block above, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So that's kind of where the ceiling is going to be. Oh, honesty, I may pull out the deep slate for that. Because I have huge amounts of deep slate. All right. Let's take this out and... Ah, let's go counting again. Counting is fun. Yep, I have no idea what this is going to look like when it's done, but I guess we'll see. Good news is I have some room here between the this wall and the factory, so at least this belt. So I've got a little bit of room I can get out here and do some add some decorative depth going that way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, bop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and plop. Two, four, five, six, seven. All right. Five, six, seven. All right, and then that still puts me here. And I, I could extend that over that way. I could do something here. I don't know, but I don't want to, I don't think I want to widen this too much more. How do I reverse the kinetic thingy in the lava area? Um, crouch. So if you right click on it, just right click on it, it pulls it up. And if you crouch and, and right click, it rolls it down. All right, so I could. Hmm. All right, so now this is gonna be an interesting question. So, right now, I'm kind of, oh, that's the shiny pick. Let's grab the silky one. Um, let's see now. This is going to go up a this way and this way. Ah, yep, no worries. Yep, some of the stuff, it... it catches me on it's like wait a minute is that how this is supposed to go all right so if i'm coming out here to this chest is this going to be or how much room am i going to have here and is it going to be too much right so looking from the oak 
So the trees are going to grow up. They get all leafy out to here, right? I don't have any bone meal on me, but yeah. So they'll leaf out two or three blocks, especially if I get a big oak. Yeah, you saw that birch came out almost to here. So yeah, um, so coming out a couple more blocks, so I'm basically at the level of this, uh, okay. So I'm at basically taking this whole chest off, which is fine. That, that, that should be all fine. Um, that means I want to bring these... I'm going to bring this over. <laughs> How far over? I, I don't know. More than I've got now. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, just one more. Okay. One, six, seven. Actually, seven blocks in between would put it there. Because I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Oh, darn it. I stripped it. It's okay. I mean, it, it, it's not the most appropriate time or place for stripping, but um, I'm sure that log feels much better about itself than it did a moment ago, which is, I don't know why it would or wouldn't, I guess, because logs don't really have feelings. But I, I honestly I have no idea where I was going with that. It was probably someplace really bad. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, move on with life. Okay, so there we go. So that's going to slide over that way. Oh, except I need to slide it over one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be seven. <sighs> so that one, that one. Okay. Because it's seven blocks between each thing, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Puts this here and then this here. Okay. Right, that should be the plan, right? It's, 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 it's a, I am fairly certain in some jurisdictions this qualifies as a plan. Okay. I'm not 100% sure it actually qualifies in this one, but I think um, it's it's fairly close to being an actual plan, maybe. Okay, so let's figure out now. So this is all gonna come up here. Now, I do need to figure out what I'm gonna do for the roof. You know, for the room seal and actually the whole roof of the building. Um, and how this is going to look out over the factory. Um, this is, can all come out. Now that I just have it sort of blocked of where things are going to go. Okay. Alright, so this is definitely a thing. Yep. I am fairly certain there is a legal definition of a thing and this pretty well meets it. Um, all right. So that'll go there. This is the sort of a building dividing line, which then comes out. Shoot. It's going to come way the heck out here, um, which I, I guess is okay. Yeah. So it's going to line up with the back end of that chest. All right. Cool. So this is going to come up this way somewhere. We'll just let's just mark that here. So now, suppose if I clear out enough space, I can get my uh, horizontal digger out here and let it clear out the rest. But because that is the advantage of having one, right? It digs a lot. Yep. 
yeah, it is going ni to be nice to have a little bit of extra room on this side. Okay. So if my wall is going to be here, sort of the right there, that side of that chest, that lines up that. Okay, so that's where this is going to go. That actually is... Okay, it might be a good thing. Okay, it's still inside the... Inside the uh, sorting system, unfortunately, but... I guess that's not too bad. Alright, and the reason why that would be a little bit of a concern is... It's right here. On the other hand... So, because it just means I have to sort of come in to the sorting system rather than cutting through here, which is okay. Um, I mean, heck, I could move it out. Because I do want to... I plan on building a little bit of something in this area out to about where that those blocks are. Okay. I've just been slowly whittling away at this hill. <laughs> All right, so if that goes that way. Hmm. All right. Now, this has been my dump off point for my uh for my contraptions, my diggy stuff. That's going to have to move cuz my my storage drop off is now on the other side of the building. And since I do want it to uh, drop off into the main storage system, I'm going to have to move that. But it's okay. It's totally fine. We are going to be having the good choices and making them, and it's going to be good. All right, I think let's sort of model what I did with the farm there. Yeah, I think this is going to work. So first off, I'm going to need bunch of polished stuff here. Dump off the dirt. I could dump that stuff too. Alright. Yeah, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically model off this farm, which I still need to get in and put the rest of the glass in. Well, Alright, that's a problem for future me. Anyway, um, I'm going to take that and I'll use it for the same ideas here. So basically, if, what I'll do is I'll come up this way and let's grab some of this polished. And I'm going to just run some polish, polished uh, stone deep slate stuffers out this way and... I think this will be a good start for whatever I decide to do for the ceiling and all that good stuff. Oh, child wants you to put him to bed. Good call. I'll put the small child to bed. Yeah, take care. I said my my next stream will be on Tuesday. Um, but uh, I'll be around. I think I just saw you join the Discord too, so... That is great. Uh, a chance to hang out and chat over there, too. All right. So let's go. Boink. All right. Well, I'll clean up that block I just misplaced in a minute. And that one. All right. I think I'm going to continue the logs up this way okay nice I think that'll work and actually yes 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 I think this will say one of the things it's it's sort of my tenant of building um, it's a problem and a also a, just a good approach is I like to start boring okay I like the build to start a little bit plain, and then I'll come in after and add detail and sh and shapes and stuff. Now, 
part of my problem is I don't always get out of the boring stage, right? Now, this has been a problem I've had since childhood. Um, I don't always stop being boring. But what I am trying to do is add a little bit of detail as I go. Um, but by starting boring, I've got a blank canvas to work on, right? So by starting with this plain blank, uh, was it jungle wood planks now i'm starting to add in some deep slate now you can see some of the detail coming in right and all that good stuff so that's the catch so probably what i'll need to do then once i get the deep slate all the way across is start looking at adding a little bit of shape to the outsides of these windows or maybe to the insides of these windows and um just adding a little depth and making it a bit more interesting. Um, this is something I'm still working on. I'm not great at this aspect of it. Um, you know, it's, it's, you might ask, hey, Pearl Stalker, what is your uh, biggest weakness in Minecraft? And honestly, the uh, design, uh, designing is, sometimes I, I manage to hit something and it just works and it's amazing. But I've got to start start boring and start adding details and I've just I need to work more on adding details so don't worry if you're at that point too where it's like I just can't make it look as awesome as b-dubs or pearlescent moon it's okay it's okay just practice have fun play with it and enjoy what you're building okay so so that's going to go in. I think I'm going to want to put in a few more things here in some places, but yeah. Now the good news is this side actually can stay somewhat boring because it's going to be the inside of the factory, but I think the inside here, oh, hey, let's uh, bring this all the way across. Um, the inside here needs to have a little bit of shape to it. Now I want these to stay big and open so that I can kind of see what's going on out there. But I also want to glass it in. So I think what I'm going to do, well, I'll probably need to get some glass if I'm going to glass it in. All right. I've also perhaps made a mistake by going all the way down to this corner because it makes it a little bit harder if I want to alter the design down here. But I think... Hmm. <laughs> ha! Small child is in bed. Awesome. Good night, small child. I hope you're, you have s wonderful dreams of small childish things. Alright, so... I should pick one of these windows. And I might pick this one. Um, yeah, I'm going to be building some more stuff out this way. When I upgrade to 1.19, I'll have, I'll get, uh, I'll unlock mangrove. So I may put um, mangrove factory over here. Those guys over there are reserved for um, nether trees. So, so mangrove over here might might work out very, very well um, because it's still close enough that the uh, saplings will random tick. I just have to figure out how the saws work with the mangroves because they're such a weird shape. Anyway, I was uh, doing stuff. I was... Yeah, okay. <sighs> Let's shape some windows. Uh, I suppose if I want to do this, I'm going to want some stairs. And let's go ahead. I'm going to take... I'm going to take some tile, but honestly, I think what might be good here is just some polished stairs. I have been using a lot of brick and stuff, but kind of, kind of like the polished action here and let's grab some glass 
I have a lot of glass, not because I have a glass factory up and running, but because when I was doing all of my testing, um, I was testing with the sand for the trains. So I just took all of the extra sand I got and threw it in the, in the furnace. Over my washing machine, which... This thing is... Oh, the windmill is definitely freaking out a little bit. Oh, I never heard the cat escape. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so this is... The, the washing machine, you gotta be a little careful with this one, because if you do it wrong, it screws up the buckets. But up is lava. Up again to turn it off. Down is water. Go ahead and turn that off. And crouch turns the fans on. And it starts dumping stuff out of this chest. The timings are not quite right, so it will still occasionally drop some things down here, which is... Not ideal, but, you know. <sighs> Given my uh, typical redstone prowess, I, I figure that's not bad. <laughs> All right. All right, let's just throw some of that glass back in the system. All right. Now... So here's what I'd like to do. And again, these, this corner, I may want to uh, do something else with. But let's start with the stair. And actually, start with some glass um, so that I can take a, not the tile. Let's take the polish. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I would like to place it that way. Hmm. Actually, the tiled might be a good choice there. Let's um, let's sleep and then we'll come back and, and take a look at this. I should just bring the bed up here, actually. But come on, or go craft another one or something. I have a zillion sheep. I haven't set up a, a wool farm yet. I haven't entirely... Well, I can't say I haven't felt the need. I just haven't entirely... Uh, felt like I've, I've wanted to put in the effort. Alright, so kind of what I'm looking at... So let's go ahead and... If I bring this out, preferably in the correct direction. So the lava pit has to get, it's something like 10,000 blocks. So that ends up in that space. It's about 27 or 28 layers deep. And I think I dug that, I set that top level pit at, um, like 30, so I've got a little bit of headroom, just in case. All right, so if I bring this flat this way, okay. Cool, so now if I wanna come out here, let's, let's bring the tiled back in, because I do like the tiled. It needs a lot, yes. <laughs> now, there is a lot of lava to fill it, uh, but, in fact, I just should uh, whip over here for a minute. There's a lot of lava to fill it, uh, but it takes, well, it's based off of the speed of basically this lava farm, which is a lot of lava, uh, but compared to that pit, yeah, it's supposed to fill up. Actually, probably probably just below this source line right there. And uh, yeah, it might fill up to about here. That's a, that's a lot of lava. All right. So let's see. If I come in with this. Now, the somewhat boring... 
Ouch. Okay, I was going to say the somewhat boring approach would be to go in that way, but got a lot more exciting all of a sudden. Once again, my skill at scaffolding is unparalleled, just like my actual scaffolding. It's not actually parallel. All right, do I still have some? Okay. You know, I went with oak so I can do texturing. I haven't done any texturing with it yet, but. All right, so. I think that's gonna be a little bit low. Um, let's go ahead and if I bring this here and then here. And then. There, like that. Okay, that still gives me a pretty significant window here. Yeah, gives me lots of significant windows. Now it's not, they're not particularly wide, um, and that's okay. <sighs> okay, but that's it's definitely a thing. Now, And then what I can do is, I'm actually thinking I might arch it on the, the other side as well. And I can run some detail here up the outside. Okay, that might work. Now what I was using for this farm here was acacia. It's acacia trap doors, but... Um, That acacia goes actually fairly nicely with the with the jungle wood. Um, all right, well let's let's figure out the inside, and then I can connect the outside to it. Um, now, because sort of what I was then thinking, right, is then having glass because you know window um i think i want to do a little bit of something up in this corner oh i think i have to use glowstone all right i need to start thinking seriously about upgrades and frog lights because i am so sick of glowstone It's such a bad texture. And I don't have sea lanterns. I don't even have a... I don't even know where there's a dungeon, but... Or a dungeon, a... Uh, ocean monument. Alright. Uh, hang on, my nose itches like there's no tomorrow. Fortunately, there is a tomorrow, so... My nose is just wrong, but I've known that for a long time. Okay, so this is going to come on down like that. Then, yeah, I think. Oh, that looks horrible. That looks horrible. All right. Let's come up here. Let's take that out. Let's do this. I'm going to put it here. Okay, and there we go. All right, cool. So now what I can do, it looks, oh, it still looks bad there. <laughs> but, uh, oh, all right, I gotta, gotta figure out something. That may just not be a light. That That's fine. The problem with glass is that you can see through it. I know this is somewhat shocking to some people, but that is, in fact, a, a problem I'm having with glass right now is that, you know, it I, I can see through it, and, and then it lets me see things that I don't want to see, like, you know, glowstone. Okay. Um, 
So what do I do here? I mean, I could definitely bring that glass in. It's goes up like that. Okay. Right. Do something like that. I do sort of want to put something in that gap. So. But how, what do you think? How's that angle? It's not too bad. I might. Let's actually just run this down this way. Now, I should have. Because it would have made some sense. Put something over here. Now, I don't have to match on this side. Which kind of makes some sense. Okay. Alright, so... If I were to go get some... Let's say green concrete to put in there. Which would be cool. Bring some of that green in. Um... Right, now this would, let's, for a moment, let's just pretend this is all coming down this way. Okay. Because I can open it some more over here, but it doesn't have to be right next to this window. All right. All right, now. I want to leave that open just a little bit. I want to. See where that line of glowstone is. All right, let's get some slabs. Do I not? Nope, I do not have slabs. Do do walls stick to um, glass blocks? I think they do. Uh, let's grab some deep slate tiled slabs. Um, I want to stick with the... No, 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 no. Let's get... Um, let's actually get some brick wall here. Okay. Stone cutters are cool, by the way. If you've yet to uh, learn the joys and excitement of stone cutters, so let's, uh, should totally, totally get into the whole stone cutter game. Um, right, so if I come in like that, Forgot the concrete, that's okay. Um, and if I were to come in, right, I could bring that down. I don't like how it sticks like that, though. Um, yeah. That's kind of okay. I, I want to put a little bit of something along this edge. What to put along that edge? You know, maybe some... Ah, maybe some iron bars. Because, you know, iron bars are cool and stuff. Alright, so let's grab some concrete, grab a nap, and go back and take a look. Alright. Because this could be all sorts of fun and exciting, right? All right, so let's start by putting some green concrete in here. All right. Yeah, and that, again, that brings in some of this color that I've got happening down here, which is good. Um, yeah, see, that's much better. That lines up nicely with the... Uh, uh, it's not quite perfect, but I'll take it. Okay. So if I bring this glass down, and then... Alright. Where's my scaffolding? There it is. Okay, let's run that across that way. Come on, up to Daisy. There we go. Okay, I just blocked my way down, but that that's just par for the course. I just I do that all the time. All right. 
<laughs> Do you actually see me trying to plan something? Yeah, yeah, you know. I did plan a few things, yes. Um. <laughs> yes, very intentional lines of glass and or grass and tile and things. Yep. There are a few places. So if you're talking about, there's a spot way out there where I had you'll see some some uh I had some blocks set up sort of deliberately spaced. That's where I was going to put the tree farm. Uh the tree factory was going to go over there. And then I remembered that I need to be close enough to the factory for it to random tick. So I decided to move the, the tree factory over here where all of the uh, random tickiness can happen. So, yes, I was, I was planning all sorts of stuff, but I don't want to say I was foiled by random tick, but it did change my plans. Yeah, because everything, they should have been... Those blocks were set, basically the same spacing that I've got here between these arms. I just moved stuff over here. However, I think what I am going to do out there is uh, build a redstone factory. Um, a factory that will construct redstone components and create components for me. I think that's what I'm going to do out in that area. Okay, take this down for a minute. Okay, so I've got a first pass at a window, and I think I think this is looking pretty okay. Um, got a little bit of green here. I think I might expand this out just a little bit, bring it out a, a little bit more, uh, just to because I like the green. Um, it was seeming a little bit plain there, or a little maybe a little out of place might have been the the better description. Now, when I get frog lights, I might do some fun frog light goodness here just to uh, maybe, re maybe replace the concrete, maybe to fill in, maybe to do something else. But I really like this, and I think this is going to be a good pattern repeating all the way down this, this wall, basically. So it gives me this nice view out onto the factory floor, so I can see all of the Tree chopping goodness in all of its create mod glory. Yeah, so I think that is going to be the plan. So let's, so I've got this green concrete, it's gonna come. And basically these, these segments right like this. Yeah, I could totally see replacing this middle block Putting a, um, maybe putting a frog light behind it. Oh, that, of course, that was the problem. The reason I didn't put a light there is you can see that block through the glass. I'll have to, yeah. But I may put in some frog lights or something there just to throw a little light on the situation, I suppose. All right, um, for now, we'll just stop there. Yep. But yes, surprisingly enough, I do actually plan things on occasion. Um, sometimes I even end up carrying out my plans. But, uh, and this time it was just a, oh yeah, huh. randomness is a thing. Um, I actually have a couple of things planned. I don't know quite when I'm going to actually get to building them. Should be soon. I've got a kelp farm I need to build. Um, because kelp is ridiculously useful in Create. You use it to make, um, it's, it use it to make the funnels and the tunnels. And you use it to make all of the... Uh, mechanical belts. But kelp is a plant. 
And as such, it random ticks for its growth, which means it has to be relatively close. And I think I'm gonna build it over there. I've got, uh, I've got an idea. But it's one of those things I just haven't gotten to yet. Okay. All right, so that's gonna go like that. Um, definitely gonna need to get some more iron bars and slabs. Cool. Well, I'm right over here. This is going to be easy enough to do, assuming I can figure out how to actually go downstairs. Awesome. That's wool. That is iron. Perfect. All right. And because I can never get enough iron bars. Hey, I'm happy. I only crafted uh, 16 of them this time. Oh, the number of times I've gone to craft iron bars and ended up with like a thousand of them. All right. Oh, yeah, this is going to look... This is actually going to look pretty good once it's in. Is it... Uh, yeah. Now, on the inside of this... I'm just, I'm getting the, the rest of the iron bars and stuff in. I'm thinking this is going to look at, look pretty nice. The, it's a little bit flat, but as I've been thinking about it on the inside of the building, I'm actually pretty okay with that because I, one, I don't know what I'm going to do here and I don't want, I don't want the decor to eat too much of my space, right? So I'm thinking... You know, I'll, I'll get this in, it'll be a little flat, and I can build out, stuff can come out, you know, to here, or whatever. Because basically I've got the width of this plus a, the space here to cover that bit of the sorting system. So it's not going to be super wide. And I said I don't know what I'm going to put here. I could put some machinery just running up and down this length. Um, I don't know. I don't know, I've got lots of options, because Create gives you all sorts of options. So, you know, we'll see. You know, it's not something I have to decide now. As as much as I want to decide now, it's like, oh yes, build this now. I don't have to. I can take some time, I can think about it, I can actually plan. And, and yes, I, I do plan sometimes. And, you know hopefully find some good use for this space. Okay. This is going to slide right down in there. And right in there. Alright. Yeah, all in all, this is starting to look... So I just sat there in that clip. This is starting to look pretty good. Um... Now, I could have done something be besides plain glass, but in all honesty, I think for these types of windows here, the plain glass is the better choice. Um, you know, I as much as I like, you know, green glass and other things, uh, I think the having the plain be the the window to look out to the outside you know it's just it's clear glass and that's not a bad thing okay i do still need to get the slabs in in each of these arches but i also need to get out of the way of, of the glass i'm placing all right cool so let's get these uh Slabs in place. All right, now the outside of this building is still going to look super duper plain. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's not bad. I might, I might even come in. Actually, let's see what that looks like. Do I still have the deep slate stairs? I do. Awesome. I could even come in and. Yeah, let's do that. Just round these windows a little bit more. Not that it totally needs it, but I like the little extra shape it gives, you know? All right, so we'll just get all of this, uh, get all this fun stuff in place, like I uh, planned something, made it actually look good. I didn't plan it, but at least I'm making it look good. I don't know why I felt the need to go all southern there, but I did. All right. Let's grab a little steak. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's take a look at it from this side for a minute. Yeah, that's... That's pretty, uh, well, the outside of this is just, <laughs> it looks pretty bad, but it's, it's, it's just going through its awkward stage, as, as Gemini Tay might say, but I think coming through this side of it, it's, it's working, and I'm, I like it when things work, right? It's just a happy, happy thing. All right, now I also don't know if I want to arch the ceiling or not. It might be a good idea. I'm, I've so here's the deal, and I, it's not a very set in stone deal. It's just a hey, let's maybe get together, have a meeting, and see if we want to do some business together or something. It's that kind of a deal. Uh, but as I was talking there, I was thinking I might actually want to go ahead and do some sort of pipeline up and down this walkway. And I don't know what I would do, what's, what I would construct, right? But having some something come up and down here where it's handy could be really helpful. The drawback is that it's not connected to anything. I can't really, if I want to connect it to my storage, I've got to do some really crazy stuff. And I don't know that I want to get that nuts with it. So if I do build something here, it's going to be a little bit manual. And I just don't know, don't know how I want that to work. I do know I'm going to need some more smooth. Well, let's get, uh, I don't know. I've got some options. Let's go and put the glass away. Uh, put some of this other stuff away that I don't need. We'll go and just put away the deep slate. All right. And let's come get some oak and let's just finish the floor. Again, wrong box. Yep, I'm gonna have to figure out what the heck is wrong with my. I've I've got a weird signal getting crossed somewhere, and I think, not a hundred percent sure, because the output of this is over here, and it's. Yeah, that's hitting the craft slabs button. Or no, that's saying it's the I want to craft with slabs button, which should be, or I want to craft, okay. It should be swinging out and Right, it should dump out there and get sucked back in here. So, 
Okay, I see what I'm what's happening. I'm my signal is getting all sorts of doubled. All right. All right, off to troubleshoot that. I think I think that is the problem. So let me just talk through it for myself to make sure I know what's going on here. Cuz it did dump a bunch of slabs that or um stripped logs that it wasn't supposed to. So if I call for right the uh back here the radio signal if i call i want to craft with planks okay that's going to trigger this guy to craft with planks okay this thing's pretty well full so that's going to let this out now All right, yeah, now those should be, okay, it's like, okay, turn on stuff and let it do its thing. Why? Yeah, it just feels like it's, I don't know, off to play with it more and just figure out what the heck is going on. It dumps things really fast, so. I just don't know. All right, but yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do something out here. I just don't know quite what I want. I could mirror that, bring the deep slate all the way down. Um, I don't wanna lose the acacia though, so. Definitely have some, some stuff to do. And I just don't know what it's gonna look like, so. Well, that guy's just gonna live there. Cool. All right. All right, so this is all gonna come out this way. Coming out here over the... I'm not, ooh, right. So here's, here's the thing, right? I was just looking at this and Right, I'm going to have floor come out here. It's going to at least come out to here. Now, I've got space for each of these storage vaults. Each one of these is bulk storage, or will be bulk storage for something. I don't know what everything is. Some of it, I have an idea. I just haven't set it up yet. Right, I've got some diorite. I should set up one for granite, and I should set up one for um, andesite. Actually, I might have one for... Oh no, that's stone. I should set up one for andesite and um, I don't know if I want to set up one for something else, but the catch is um, once I'm out of space, right? Because that's two or three more. I only have space for another couple, another dozen maybe items in the bulk storage there. So if I want to add, if I want to or need to add more bulk storage items, I'm going to run out of room. And I don't know quite how I want to approach that. I was kind of thinking what I would, I could do is stack this and then my, my uh, output over here would actually come up to a, uh, a second level and then run across there and then back and then down and back and around so that it's um, kind of still dumping stuff that way right it would it would work it would give me extra bulk storage if I really was concerned about it you know for like diamonds and stuff because obviously I'm gonna have so many diamonds that I'm gonna need a storage vault for all of them. Ow. Okay. Cool. So, I just don't, just don't know. And, you know, maybe it's okay. Because I don't, so there's a lot of stuff. I don't think I'm going to have that much 
storage, you know? Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this out and should have moved the shovel. I'm, I'm, I don't want to say I'm tired because I don't necessarily feel tired, but I am just, just sort of zoning, you know, I've, I've hit that Zen state. I'm just placing blocks and they're nice blocks, but that's all I'm doing, <laughs> you know. Which is one of the reasons I enjoy Minecraft, actually, is if I'm just kind of feeling I need to do something mindless, Minecraft is there. If I want to do something that's sort of a puzzle, you know, I've got contraptions I can build. You know, Minecraft is there. And that's awesome. It's why I like it. It's why it gives me all these cool options and opportunities and things. And then there are days where I'm like, I, I just want to veg. And Minecraft is wonderful for that. So, or I want to be artistic. And boom. Artsy. <laughs> Decorative nonsense, right? Uh, I should have left a... Uh, poke a hole here. There it is. Okay, I just want to leave a slot so I see where the uh, glowstone is. Again, it'll be kind of nice to fill stuff. Yeah, Minecraft is just all the things. Yeah, and I can't say I was getting burnt out on vanilla or getting bored by vanilla. Um, I was having a little bit of a creative block. It's like in uh, going solo. It's like I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to build next. But Create Mod really, really jump started my enthusiasm. It's like, yep, this is awesome and amazing, and I need to build all the things. <laughs> so I am. I am building all the things. And it is it has been fabulous. Now I think this floor is gonna come out. So I think I want to basically include um, all of this stuff here, right? All of the stuff on the inside of this. And I might, I think I'm going to probably rearrange my uh, belts and stuff so that they link up in between all of these uh, storage containers where I need them to. Just to, just to keep things sort of, Uniform and uh, and it would allow me to build a wall right here should be kind of nice um, Okay, because yeah, it's a it's, Swear half of create mod is just trying to figure out where everything is going. It's all traffic related. Yeah uh, Yeah, this is oops. That's not what I wanted there Oh, I don't have any of those logs. Cool. And I need to cover this up too, but I want to, I do have some villagers I want to move in. So I, I was kind of waiting till I got that done first. All right. So, okay. So if I do do another level, I'll have to, oh, there's an idea. All right, let me go get. Let's get some vaults. I want to. I want to test something here. This is more of that weird planning thing I keep hearing about. And honestly, create mod is a uh, definitely one of those things that encourages planning. It works a lot better if you actually have some clue of what you're going to do. All right, so. I have right here, um, well, I don't have the blocks I want. It's okay. So I have right here the radio link. Now I can't, I can't move that. It's controlling the redstone. Okay. But if I put another storage vault in, right, it's going to go 
here potentially. Okay. Now what now what I could do is I could raise that up a block. Could raise it up two blocks, but I could raise it up a block. And yeah, let the bulk storage go through. But if I wanted to build a couple of other farms of some sort or other, some some sort of factory up here that would feed something here, that could be very interesting. Hmm. And then I'd have the storage for the factory right there if I needed it. I just have to be mindful of which direction the everything goes. All right. Huh. Yeah, that's that could be really really cool. Okay. Yeah, cuz if I build it going in the right direction, Right, I can get my bulk storage all flowing back and forth. And that just just depends on what I put up here. Right? And I don't know what it would be. Uh, I do want to build a dye factory, but that's pretty much going to require a flower forest. So... That's... That's going to be a thing, but... It's definitely an idea, though. I like the idea. Yeah, definitely, definitely stuff to think about. Also, just since speaking of thinking about things. So this is going out here. Yeah, if I stop that way, there's another one, two, five. I have to see what I can do with these belts if I can uh, lengthen this one by a couple. That would really help. <laughs> Just to line up, so there's three to be five. Gap would be there. One, two, three, four, five. It's not going to be even, but it's okay. And maybe it doesn't matter because you're not really going to see it anyway. So I guess that would be it. That would be okay. Totally be okay. All right, so it's just a matter of all sorts of things. All right, nice. So, all right. So that's, I guess, the first step. So, if I'm planning. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and take this, put this here for a minute. That would be, oh, okay. I'd have to be a little bit careful of how I drop things down if I want. Otherwise, it's going to be on a belt. Of course, the belt could be in the floor, which would be okay, too, because if it's in the floor... It'll look better and just be cooler. <laughs> gotta gotta go for the cool factor, right? So the bell could be the floor, but I could still oops, darn it. Where's my there it is. I could still put these here. Or I could sink them down one. So doesn't matter if it if they're up here because I can the well the well the funnel can be up there I suppose but if I put it in the floor yeah so this that's it's an idea All right so the belt would be in the floor I would have an axe axes are okay that was a wrench the wrench does not go do nearly as well 
crafting things. Right, and then I can put a funnel here if I decide to do any sort of that bulk storage. But yeah, it would basically run, I'd have to run this way. Because that's, that's the input for the lower level, so it would have to run, I don't know. I guess I could come up, run around this way, and drop down, and then run around that way. Okay. I mean, th that's fine. That can be a thing. Totally be a thing. Um, that means this would have to go up over the tracks, but I don't know. I'll have, I've got lots of options, and I don't know what I'm going to do with any of them, but <laughs> hey... I, I, it's, it's nice to have options. Also, I have a dark spot over here. Do I have... I do have torches now. Aha! Oh, I had to laugh the other day. So I was... I forgot what I was doing. I was playing with the trains or something. And one of these trains just yeeted a traveling... Uh, traveling salesman. And his llamas right across the rail yard. It was hilarious. Yeah, it was fun. It's like, thwing. It's like, okay, well, the, uh, the merchant is now flying somewhere. All right. I'm not 100% sure that's where this is permanently going to be, but it's a good place for it now. All right, so, yeah, so if I put the additional bulk storage up that way, wait. Um, yes, hostile mob mechanics. Um, the mob farm. <laughs> the mob farm uses hostile mob mechanics. Um. Uh, and I, I suppose if you want to count the iron farm too. So obviously it's just a villager powered iron farm. That's pretty generic. Um, oh, I still need to clean that off. And I don't know if that's a visual glitch or if it's... I do run into that sometimes. Um, yeah, it's just a visual glitch. Um, oh, somebody's over here. Hi. How are you? Aren't you special? Is there a place I can get around here and smack him? Yeah. Hi. Can you, uh... There we go. Just drop his, his pants. Um. I had an elevator here. Did I not? I did not have an elevator. I had a ladder. There we go. Yeah, and this mob farm can be improved in a number of different ways, but like a water elevator, that would be nice. And this is pretty much your standard uh, flushing mob farm. But uh, I think this is about the only thing I have here that's sort of dependent on hostile mobs doing hostile mob things. I do have one, um, I found a zombie spawner while I was digging out for, for my, uh, my rail there. And I think I want to build a copper farm out of it. I just haven't figured out how I want to do that yet. Yep. Say basic, uh, basic flushing mob farm. So these guys are all rocking out down here. It was probably a mistake to put in those trap doors, but I kind of thought they had to be there. Guess I'm wrong, but at least I'm getting string and gunpowder, and that's the important thing.
All right. The other good thing, I mean, this does have a nice switch. I should set up a wireless redstone switch on this one. Getting down is a lot faster than going up. <laughs> but yeah, just over... It was right along the the tracks over there. Yeah, I, I stumbled across a uh, zombie spawner. And I was got thinking that, yeah, because I'm, I'm always in need of copper. Um, I also need zinc, but I can't farm zinc. I can farm copper. So, setting up a, uh, where was it? Was it? It was somewhere. Maybe it was... Was it along here? I don't remember. It was... It was... Oh, yeah, it was right down here. Yeah, so there's a zombie spawner right there. And... Right here by my track. So... That would be perfect to set up a some form of copper farm. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with that. But obviously, there are many, many options. I should probably save these eggs. Anyway. So there are many options, but I don't know what, to, what I want to do with them. Uh, but that'll that'll be very nice to get copper in place, you know. Here, dude. Why don't you climb on out of the the farm here, right? No, you'll you'll love it. It'll be great. You'll have such a wonderful time up here. I've spawned all of these iron golems to deal with um, pillager raids and stuff. And now I've just got some wandering around in weird places. But that's all right. Cool. Well, I need to double check things, but I think... Honestly, actually, this is a good spot. Let me go find a... Uh, Commute spot, we'll do an outro for the video. And oops, I need to clear my hands. All right. All right, so yeah, so let's just, let's just record a video outro real quick. And, ah, oh, this'll be, this'll be good. All right, and that's about the time I've got for uh, things today. I think this window is going to look nice once I start getting things finished, and I don't know what that ceiling's going to do, but hey, I'm making progress anyway, and we're not even going to look at the outside. That's It's scary out there. We'll just we'll come back to that. But we'll call it here. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out today. Like the video, subscribe. You know the drill. And... Uh, until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off. All right. That should, uh, should do that. All right. Cool. Oh, there's my back. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I... This is one of those parts. I'm I I like the artistic stuff. I do. I like designing things, but man, every once in a while it's like, okay, I have I kind of have a really, really vague idea of what I want to do. And I'm not entirely sure I'm actually doing it. <laughs> but anyway, we'll uh we'll go ahead and call it here. Of course like the the stream all that good stuff and uh next stream will be on tuesday so until then 
Uh, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off for realsies.